Good morning, today is another day in Saudi Arabia, a very dusty day and uh, what we have uh, today is a bookstore on our list. There is a bookstore here in Dammam, very famous one, it's called Al Jarir. 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 Jarir bookstore is a huge bookstore, I've seen it from the outside and now we're going to explore it to see how it looks like. My camera battery died so I had to switch to the phone so I'm talking with you from the phone right now. I'm in the car heading to the bookstore I was talking about earlier. It's gonna rain in she's the mom. Not, she's not happy about that. We are happy. They are very happy when it's raining here because it's happening so rare and usually it's so hot so rain is like a blessing for Saudis. But not for me. I hate rain in general. I'm only happy when it's sunny outside. You know that after raining people are going out to hang out. They are sitting in the desert or the Corniche. Really? They are everywhere, yeah. By we, the way, the Corniche is the place next to the sea. They call it like that everywhere in... It's like Not that. just in Saudi Arabia, but in the Arab countries in general. It's, it's a like sea front. Sea front, yeah. It's and I think it's a French word. Mm -hmm. yeah. So maybe it came from Morocco. Could be. Because there are many French people there. Let me show you how it looks like outside right now. See, you cannot see the sky. Oh, thank you for that. It will disappear now because it's raining. Yeah. Which will be the weather the best soon. You will see that. Okay, there's a mosque over there. Here we are actually in the neighborhood next to the Corniche. And here is the old souk where you can walk and shop, like in the street, I don't know how they call it, we call it souk. Souk is like it's... an old neighborhood where you can find many stores and markets in general. It's the old place of the city, right? Yes. Jarir bookstore we are going now is not the only one in the city or in Dammam. There are plenty of them in Saudi Arabia and they are the most famous ones. And they call them, they call themselves we are not only books. They have coffee shop inside? They have coffee shop, they have laptops, phones, uh, many things. We will see now. By the way, earlier when I uh, got interrupted by the battery of the camera, I was telling you about my outfit. I'm wearing the abaya over my clothes. I have a white t-shirt and some jeans and I'm gonna leave the abaya open. I'm not gonna close it. So. This is an outfit idea that you can try here in Saudi Arabia and it's very fine, nobody will stare at you in a bad way. So, Jarir Bookstore. We are on the ground floor right now and there are plenty of things to see like phones, this letters made of wood are so cool 27 Saudi Real one letter I find it kind of expensive this notebook for sketches 65 and this this one is really nice it's written grateful These are Arabic letters. So nice. Let's see how much is one. Oh, these are cheaper. It's six real, which is less than two dollars. But I wonder why these ones are so expensive. I know they're bigger, but still, twenty-seven real for one letter is expensive. Let's see, these ones are bigger. Arabic. 15 Many different things made of wood Canvas for paintings have to keep in mind when you come to Saudi Arabia is that uh, you have to remember the prayer times because 
we came to the bookstore and after five minutes we had to go out because it's prey time. Absolutely everything is closed during the prey and you can hear the sound of the prayers. Hashtag life in Saudi Arabia. Okay, the prayers are finished, the prayer time is finished, so we came to another Jarir bookstore because we don't want to wait next to the other one. And now we're gonna enter to see if there is any difference between this one and the other one. Let's go! instead of that F word. Travel section is what is in our interest all the time. Let's see what they have. Indonesia, Dubai, coastal California. These are some travel guides from Lonely Planet. They're not really useful during Corona times. And these are some school atlases and some maps you should buy a map I found this very cool section of uh, touristic places in Saudi Arabia and one of them is you say it Mada and Saleh okay let's see what we can find in this book it's very heavy and it has images with the Madai Saleh and Al Ula, Hejaz Railway, Epigraphs, and Nature. It's written in English. This is the place that I'm planning to visit, and hopefully, coronavirus won't stop me. And here are some information about the place. There is actually very detailed history Nabatean history of Nabans, the tombs okay let's go to other places that's the railway here is the right way mm -hmm. I think this is a very cool book to buy if you want to visit Saudi Arabia and to find information about these places because on the internet you don't find much, to be honest. That's it. is also on my list I mean of places to visit and this is Al Balad some drawings from Al Balad is the oldest neighborhood in Jeddah but this guy over here knows much more about it you know I see the pictures they are so good yeah they're actually drawings okay let's go to the game section maybe we'll find something to play these days since we have to stay more inside and outside puzzles world map for kids. Puzzles. Oh, we could do a puzzle. Cards. Do they have Monopoly? Yes. Where? Oh, this one is cool. Yeah. Is how much? 34? 34. After discount. It was 49. 